turn now to this new study we mentioned, which may change the way you diet. Deborah Roberts is here with a way to double your return, right, Deborah? It's really shocking, Diane, because so many people are trying to battle the bones, right? Well, fad diets may come and go, but researchers are saying that what may be missing from your regimen is as simple as jotting down what goes into your mouth and eventually shows up on your body. Minnesota mom Janine Swanson weighed 233 pounds last year, then dropped a whopping 90 pounds. I started tracking my food and seeing what I was eating and, um, and exercising and the walking. The journal keeps me in control on what I'm eating. According to a new study by Kaiser Permanente, keeping a food diary can double a person's weight loss. If you're writing down everything you eat, you're being accountable to yourself, and that accountability part is very powerful. In addition to keeping food diaries, 1,700 participants followed a diet rich in fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy. They also exercised at least 30 minutes a day. At the end of six months, the average weight loss among the dieters was 13 pounds. 69% lost at least 9 pounds. It sounds like in some ways pretty simple stuff, but... I think that is the point, that it isn't super duper magic out there. It's focusing and going forward. Now a lean 140 pounds, Janine's secret to successful dieting is in part just keeping track of her meals. It's not easy, but I made the choice for my health to do it. Now, when you say food diary, you think it has to be formal, but the fact is, they, it doesn't have to be. You can just text yourself, guys. You can email yourself. It's really about handling the truth. You know right. the line in the film, yeah. you can't handle reality. the truth? Reality. Facing you have to face reality. It. Facing gonna, reality. I'm Can you handle the <laughs> truth? Exactly. You know he has a, a get fit challenge to me. You can't which say I, I ate one thing and you really ate two. Miserably. Handle the truth. I'm going face to start the challenge. Those start are the words.